Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble this adorable pig applique pattern. So this is the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. When I say current, it is November 1st, 2023, and this is the pattern that you get in the club this month. So if you're already in the club, you should have already received the link to download the new pattern. And if you join the club, any time during the month of November 2023, this is the pattern that you're going to get as an instant download. If you're seeing this sometime after November 2023 and you're looking for this pattern, it'll be available in the shop at shinyhappyworld.com. Here's how to make it. All right, this is the version where I'm going to show you, this is the part of the video where I show you how to put this together using a light box. So just very quickly, here is my setup. I have my light box turned on, but the brightness is up as high as it'll go. I've got my placement guide, and I have a silicone mat. And I've got all of my pieces all cut out and ready to go, except I need to do two things. So this pig has got some, most of the lines on the back side of the pattern piece are placement guides, which we don't need when you have a light box but we do need the stitching lines. And for the pig, that's the mouth and the eyelashes. And the eyelashes are optional, but I am gonna do them on this one. So what you wanna do is just lay those pieces down on your light box before you peel the paper back off and just transfer those lines to the fabric side of the piece. And I'm just using a fine tip Sharpie. It's nothing fancy. It is a permanent pen and that's okay because I'm gonna stitch over it with black stitching, so the fact that there's a black permanent pen hiding under the black stitching doesn't matter even a little bit. So here we go. We are gonna start with piece number one. So the numbers on the back of the piece tell you what piece is what, and they also tell you what order to place them in. And I am doing this guy, what I call snapshot style, so you have to imagine that you've taken a picture of the pig, but you've zoomed in to focus on the face. And so you've cropped it off. He has a body, it's there, it's just not showing in the frame. And to have that illusion, you wanna have this piece cropped off. You'll place that on the bottom edge of your block when you put it in. If you don't wanna do it snapshot style, you can do what I call emoji style. And that means you just don't use the shoulder piece, just do the face. So now we're gonna do piece number two which is this ear, and then piece number three. This one has nice, big, easy pieces. And then piece number four is the face. And again, we would just peel that right off, or just uh, put, just start with the face if you were doing emoji style. Or I should say, still start with the ears, but just leave those shoulders off. Now we have piece number five, which is the big kissable nose. And then we have some eyes and nostrils, which all look very similar. So you're gonna to need to be able to read the numbers through the thing, through the fabric. And if you're having trouble seeing them, just push it down enough just to get contact and you don't have to push it hard. It's just as long as all the pieces are touching, the knot lines show through much better. So we have six and seven are the eyes. So here is six. And seven. Oops. And then eight and nine are the nostrils. They are just a little bit smaller than the eyes. And again, I'm just gonna have to tap that down to make contact so I can see the placement lines through there. If you're working with really, really dark fabrics and you've got a number of them stacked up, sometimes you can't see those lines through it, even if you make contact, if you have like three rows of fabric. And what you can do in a situation like that is you could do just the nostril first like take all these other pieces off and use these lines in here to place the nose and the nostrils and then you have them as one piece that you can position on there. But it's almost never necessary. It's really only if you're using like black fabric. All right, so 
Everything is in place. I'm happy with how it all looks. I'm gonna carefully lift up the silicone mat, take it over to my ironing board, and fuse everything into place right on the mat. Just follow the directions for whatever brand fusible adhesive you're using. I'll let it cool, and then I will peel it off, and then it works just like one big iron-on. I will place it on my final block, fuse it into place, do all the outline stitching, and then I will bring it back here and show you the finished block and show you two other colors I did and one that does not have the eyelashes, just so you can see what that option looks like. All right, here is the finished pig block. So this is one of the ones that I did with the eyelashes, so you can see what that looks like. And I've got two other versions that I made in other colors. Oh, I should say these are use all colors from the Farmer's Market color palette. All of these fabrics are available in my Spoonflower shop. I designed them especially for applique. So all of the colors that I used for the pig are from the strawberry blenders. And this background block is uh, in the color blueberry, which is also in that same color palette. So I have two more colors to show you. This one I made as a gray pig, a little more realistically colored pig. So this one, the background is still from the Farmer's Market collection. This is one of the strawberry blenders and so is the nose. But all of these grays are from the Animal Kingdom collection, which is what I use for more realistically colored animals. So all of these shades of gray are from the Elephant Blenders collection. And one of the things that I love about having these designed especially for applique is that all of the grays in that collection are the same hue, it's just different tints and shades of it so that they all work together really well. And I've got one more color to show you. This one is another realistically colored animal. So all of the browns, including the nose, are from the Grizzly Blenders, which is in that same Animal Kingdom collection. And this bright, bright green is from the Classic Rainbow Collection, which is just very bright, totally saturated colors. And the Classic Rainbow are the basic primary and secondary colors. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So that are, is three versions of the pig pattern. That Again, the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club, November 2023. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and I will see you next time.